That's the first time I've really felt like that about this game. Where I'm like, I'm looking at it going like, dude, if I can get the right items to fall into place. And these bosses are in deep shit. I always think those are... Ha! Ah! I need water walk or whatever the hell that is, dude. Right. Time to get mobile. We... The turret's gone. I don't think I have any alt fire on this. Yeah, if I get oh shit. Yeah, there's a couple of different weapons that if I can just get my hands on them, I feel like we could do some real damage. That's fine. Ah, dude, the driver. I've been wanting to use the driver. Lucid said these things are aggressively mean-spirited to bosses, and I'm about that life. I will say this boss, I, I, I have liked the other bosses, and so when everyone kept saying, like, oh, man, the fourth boss is my favorite, I was like, damn, how much, like, how much cooler could it be than the death metal boss we just fought? I get it. This boss is pretty fucking spectacular. Super lucky. There's stuff below us, but it's water drenched and I can't I can't do that yet. I'm gonna send this again because it came through at the start of the boss last fight. I also see personal growth that comes with experience and I respect who you are and where you're at even more now. I appreciate that genuinely. I don't take that that praise lightly. Um at the same time I don't wanna, you know. I don't want to give myself too much credit because what I feel like I've done is just, uh, I don't know, been self-aware enough to realize when y'all kind of hold a mirror up to me that, uh, there are places where I'm, you know, uh, where I'm falling short as a human and then I'm just trying to work on that. Artifacts and items. I can kill two birds with one stone. Oh, thanks, Numinator. I appreciate that. Well, it's nice. It's nice. Oh, shit. Right. Oh, right, I got a gun that I'm not used to, too. All right, well, let's see if we can find the shop so that we can get the these overcharges off of us. Or these, sorry, these malfunctions off of us. That's a far worse driver. Yeah, this, this room's going to be a pain in the ass for a second. Don't bullshit me, game. You have enemies in here. I fucking smell them.
would have been cool if it had been the one that reset all malfunctions. Yeah, Glitch, or not Glitch, uh, Lucid was saying that this gun really, really gives bosses the fucking business. So we'll see. It feels a lot like the Snot Rocket. It feels like a gun that you gotta shoot, hit the shot, and then get your ass the hell out of there and move around. Like, you, you're gonna spend a lot of time dodging. Time to not dig the same hole we dug yesterday, or yesterday on the last run. Oh, we got so lucky. That was like a... That was like an absurdly fortuitous uh, parasite to have found. Got all the benefits with none of the drawback. Well, we have a lot of cursed. Uh, we have a lot of uh, cursed resin on this floor. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. We get a uh, bigger Obelite suction zone. We, we give Obelite the bigger suck. Obelite gets the bigger suck. And if we just don't try to get... Like, we, we just gotta work hard to make sure... We don't uh, get malfunctions unless we absolutely need to, because getting them off will be harder. I'm down with that. That's fine. I'm all right with this. Well, there's a lot of malignant shit just sitting around. Man. I don't know what it is, but I want it. Shit. You court soaker. Oh, get the fuck out of here. You guys ever been over three before? You guys ever not? You guys ever be in a situation where you can not feasibly miss a single shot or your runs over I thought that was the exit <laughs> I'll be honest I might not open that if I'd realized what it was I thought it was the exit spoilers it weren't it weren't the exit I 
There goes what ether I had stockpiled. It's kind of a bummer. Shit, that's poison health. Fuck you. I can't do poison health right now. I fucking hate me so much. What could possibly go wrong? Hoping to get lucky here. That's actually not the worst thing we could have gotten. Alright, now we get out of here. left. You're gonna hate this. Oh shit, you're not all that's left. Did I hit that? Nice shot, Ryan. Runs are a little bit more slapdash, man. This fourth biome uh, does not take my personal feelings into consideration. One over there. How do I get that? These rooms, man, they have not been kind of late. feeling better though. What was that? What was that? No. Can't risk my obelites right now. Don't need heals. Listen, we're already staying away from malfunctions. We've determined that this is a parasite and store economy that we're leaning in on. We're looking for ether. I'll give it that, though. We're looking for uh, ether upgrades. Otherwise, we're leaving it alone. We're not messing with, uh... We are decidedly not messing with, um... Is there something above me? We are decidedly not messing with, uh... Malfunctions, as it turns out. Oh, right, I can't get up there. 
weapon proficiency. Uh, honestly, now that I know protection is good, I feel like I don't see it anymore. I feel like now that the game knows that I know that protection's good, Ghost Cubby, it's off the table. Oh man, we were so close to the shop. Max integrity. Which is obviously good. That gets us into that golden place for weapons proficiency. I'll look at these, but I'm not looking... Weapon damage per adrenaline? No. No. I'm not interested in either of those. So... There's our, there's our artifact that's going to unlock our integrity. That's not an artifact? Well, fuck me. That's like treating you, bud. Yeah, I realized that in retrospect. That's fine. We'll get we'll we'll get an artifact, I'm sure, soon enough. I just gotta not play like Dookie. I just gotta not play like Turd Water in the in the interim. Whoops. I'm sorry, but what's Silphium Extractor? Hostiles have a high chance to drop Silphium. Why would I ever leave that for right now? I've become obsessed with trying to figure out ways to restore health in this game. Because I'm not currently a dodging god. Maybe once I've got the patterns in my blood, we'll be all set. But for right now, man, I am very mortal when it comes to... Very mortal when it comes to all the damage I've been taking. Oh shit. It was a run by Obelisk grabbing. You gotta get the early jump on that, I've found. How you doing, bud? Fall! Portal, uh, portal beam two. Yeah. No. Uh. This gun does so much damage, though. If I could, if I can just keep moving. Plus, I can't help but feel like having it drop, having it dropping health, having enemies have a high chance of dropping health leads me to having a bigger health bar, which feels more important to me than damage output at the moment. Maybe I come back for that. I'm gonna stick with this for now. Fucker. 
What's in here? Oh, yeah. I don't get to open the I don't get to open these doors very often. What the fuck? Really? Figuring out the first boss's patterns, I have to say, I've not had this much trouble with a boss that I've been excited to fight since Dark Souls 3. Damn, Ollie Quinn, go get him. Go get him. I'm just gonna take the straight opalites. I thought this thing only did one, but if I got the option to turn all these parasites into cash, it's my money, use it when I need it. JG Parasite, 877 cash now. And all I'm giving up in return is um, that I don't suck up as many... Oh, God. That I don't suck up obelites from nearly as far away, but I mean, I, I got 100 obelites for that, you know? And now I can buy an artifact in the store, exactly. Like, that's the trade-off, right? And the store is... I might get that orange, like, I think that's the second orange room we've seen. I might see about getting that one. Maybe, maybe in a bit. We'll come back. Found it. That was driving me insane. That was driving me bonkers. Yeah, there's at least two of those yellow force fields that I know of lying around. So this becomes an immediate uh, return on investment, I think. So I think that makes it a pretty... Pretty easy pickup. That's an Atropian key, which... It uh, that could that could end up being huge. Um, and I guess I just leave this way. I think the other room that we had was this one, maybe. But until we find a way to teleport back quickly, I think I just go this way for now. Yeah, key's good. Love a key, lads.
Pit Mob Blaster, you say? I do like doing more damage to something that's at 30% health. It's nice to get that finishing blow quickly. I end up running out a lot of ADS. There's a part of me that keeps convincing myself, Ghost Cubby, that I'm I'm earning bonus damage for like hitting precision headshots and stuff. I have no idea if that's true, but I am aiming for soft spots. Oh, that hurt. I caught it, in case you guys were worried. going on there. Stagger for parasites. Well, maybe I won't sell as many parasites now. First fire charging shot and snub nose. Man, like, listen, you had me a decent starting weapon, but you lost me at all this other additional stuff that turns it into the shotgun, you know? What's going on down here? I'm gonna guess that these things. I'm gonna guess that this pylon driver can't get a leeching shot. That seems like that would be broken as hell. Earn this ether. Looks like we got just about everything out of here. Oh no, what was up there? What did I leave up there? Oh, it's a consumable. Well, that's worth looking at. I thought that was a hook. Damage Siphon. Damage Siphon has done good shit for me in the past. Damage Siphon has straight up saved my life a couple of times. Hard for me to say no to a straight up damage increase on a gun that chunks as it stands. 
we need to go almost all the way back to the beginning. Oh, shit. Sorry, chat. Bruh. Yeah, the dead aliens do kind of look like the Subnautica aliens. I'm getting pretty excited at the prospect of Popeye's finding his way through my door. There we go. Pristine calibrator. Wait, there's a fucking door under here? There's a door down here that I just didn't go to? It looks like a... Uh, like a weapons door or an item door? Well, it's not. Still, though, that was an ether just laying around that I almost left behind. I'm gonna go check out over here. There seems to be some health that I left behind. Maybe I just didn't need it. I could use it now. What's up here? Yeesh. Um, I'll try it. Melee kills. I'll swap it out for the extermination sphere because right now I can just go sell. I can sell my parasites for a good amount of money. Oh, yeah. I'll take that. Thank you. I have more health just chilling back here. Sure did. Not good health, but health nonetheless. This is why we're grabbing ether. Hey, wife. Hey. All right, food. I do like food. People are always saying that's happy. He do like food. <laughs> that is true. Anything else? I'm good. Okay. Love you, baby. We are absolutely taking a little time out so I can eat this. Our fries are very good. I'm going to take a split second to just remind us of the reason for the season. St. Jude Subathon. We're currently sitting at $16,136.90. That is good for 11th on the global leaderboard. And third place for the week. I'm also out here, as always, soliciting for myself. Because next month I go to Italy and I'm offline for a week. So I'm trying to raise enough funds to not really feel like I'm murdering my bank account. But I'm also probably not going to say no. You're, you're putting me in a beautiful place with lots of good food. And asking me to say no to my wife, my sons, or my mom. You maybe t you, you, you'd stand a much better chance if you asked me to say no to Noah or my sister or my dad. Spicy chicken sandwich. Mm. 
Winner in the game, baby. Best in the biz. This Popeyes is hitting the spot. Or as kids two years ago would say, this Popeyes is hitting no cap. My one-year-old standing here watching you eat like it's the most fascinating thing she's ever seen. Mousy Corey, all the parenting books I've ever read have said that that's a sign of just ridiculously high intellect. <clears throat> I was talking to my pediatrician and I said, oh man, Rory. And Grayson both really like watching their dad eat food. And the doc said, well, that's generally a pretty good key performance indicator for how likely they are to out-earn their parents and have successful and healthy lives. I said, watching kids watching their parents eat food? And he said, oh no, you, you specifically... Ryan Caps. Studies have shown. Children children who willingly show an interest in watching you eat food are poised for incredible success in their chosen fields. So, you know. If I die of a heart attack before some of you have your children, you're just shit out of luck. You better dig up some VODs. This is bringing me life right now. Which thing, Noah? Yeah, as I say, DM me because I'm not I'm not picking up the reference. If there was something clandestine that was meant to happen, I, I don't know about it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No, that has not happened yet, but I will flip shit when it happens. Wait, maybe. Hold on. Maybe it's just there. <clears throat> no, we'll give it a few minutes. It did. Did I just not notice that?
Maybe I need to refresh. Whoops. Oh shit, it did. I just I just needed to refresh. Seventeen thousand one hundred and thirty six dollars because yeah. Saint Jude just processed Rusty's thousand dollar match. Hey, question for you? Because I'm a confused girl. What happened to all the vegetable oil that was sitting in the Dutch oven? That was in the Dutch oven? Uh huh. I haven't touched it. There was a full thing yeah. from Oh, what? Okay, so the all the oil that was from the corn dog. No. I had just left sitting in there because I wasn't strong enough to pour it out and yeah. re reuse it. Did it get poured out somewhere? No. It's still sitting on the cutting board in the Dutch oven. Not anymore. It's gone. Like the Dutch oven's gone or the oil is gone? The oil is gone. I haven't touched it. Okay. It was down there when I went to go get a Coke not too far long ago. What the hell? That uh stuff doesn't evaporate. I oh. genuinely saw it when I went to get this drink like a, an hour ago. Okay, Zach. <clears throat> Amanda from St. Jude. Thank you so much for processing that with Rusty. I have one more that's sitting in that thread for 500. But I know that you're like your your email said you were out of office, so like I know you're doing this on the fly. I know that where, wherever you are doing whatever you're doing That you took time out of your weekend to process that match. The Rapid had a had a hundred dollar match as well. But yeah, there we go. Thank you, Amanda. That brings us to seventeen thousand one hundred and thirty six dollars and ninety cents chat in six days. Shit on me. Let's put that time on the clock. <laughs> Let's put that time on the clock. Hold on. Let me get the calculator out. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Oh, boy. Um, It's 12 seconds per dollar at $1,000. That's I don't know what 12,000 seconds is. I, I didn't watch Rent. Thirteen hours, thirteen minutes and fifty-seven seconds. That puts us into Gremlin time, so I have no idea whether or not there'll be a Sunday stream now. Rusty Brazenfire, uh, who was the the source of the thousand dollar match tip uh, from his employer, gifts a tier one sub to Amanda from St. Jude. You caught me during lunchtime. I'm literally Nate. What's going on, brother? M Amanda, I'm literally in front of this camera right now. From 8.30, well, not 9, 9, 8.45 to 9, <clears throat> until about midnight 30. Every day since Monday. It is a long time. I'm 43. You've met me. I'm not, you've, you've clearly seen that I'm not like an Olympic athlete. Matter of fact, I think the first time we talked while we were in Memphis, I was walking up two fisting complimentary chocolate chip cookies. From the refreshments area and reception. So this is grueling, but this new annual tradition we have of the St. Jude Subathon is legitimately one of my genuinely favorite, one of my genuinely favorite uh, weeks out of the year for programming. They were good ass cookies, though. <laughs> they were good cookies. That sounds on brand. Nate, you were so missed. I genuinely hoped that you were going gonna make it out to St. Jude this year. He was in London because his business acquired another business and he had to go orient them in London because he's a big fancy business person now. 
Oh yes, my name is Nate, and I'm busy making businesses. I made seven businesses yesterday. Brr, 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 brr. <laughs> I don't have time to go to to Memphis and eat steak with taffy. I'm too busy businessing. That's what you sound like. I'm too busy being the CTO of a nine-figure company. Ma 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 ma. Ma 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 ma. It's a dead-on impression, chat. If you've ever met Nate, you know I nailed it. <clears throat> it would have been awesome to have you there. Surprise, surprise, everybody was so nice. I can't believe it. Um, they put us in a different hotel right off of Beale Street. Which I liked better. It was a much nicer hotel. The old hotel wasn't bad. It was just a little musty, you know? Just a little dated. But it was a little way removed from, like, the touristy stuff. It was over by the river. Closer to the Bass Pro Shop, if that's your bag. Um... Yeah, nice hotel right off Beale Street. We got some good food. Everybody was chill this year. I'm super curious why Amber thinks we've lost, like, four quarts. Why Amber thinks we lost four quarts of vegetable oil. I'll be curious to hear what the resolution of that was. It was real nice. Uh, so was this one, wasn't it? I thought. Oh, that was Hyatt, not not Marriott. The Hyatt centric Beale Street, Memphis. <clears throat> Chat. I didn't have. I didn't have this wacky ass corner room, but I mean, like, generally speaking, this this was the hotel they had us in. This was this was mostly what my room looked like. I didn't have this this goodness going on, but like, yeah, that that was this is what my room looked like. I have my bag here. I have my laptop set up here. This is a very nice hotel. It was a pleasant place to stay. <clears throat> Did someone gremlin pour it in the sink? I don't think so. The boys would like the boys aren't gonna go out of their way to do a chore, you know. Even if they thought that's what they were supposed to do, uh, what uh, the boys needed, the, you know, the boys needed the Dutch oven so Rory could make a roasted chicken. Like I don't, I don't know what what it could have possibly been. The only thing I could think of is that one of them, like, knocked it to the kitchen floor, but even then, Amber would know, because the Dutch oven would have chipped the floor, or vice versa, and there'd be four quarts of frying oil on the ground. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what she's on about, because it was down there an hour ago. So, well, look at that, chat. We're at, uh, we're at $17,000 and change. <clears throat> Let's see what that did to the leaderboards. We are inches behind Huts and the only Ryan for 10th and 9th, respectively. Or, actually, it's, it's reversed. The only Ryan is 10th. The only Ryan is $800 away from us. Huts is $850 away from us. Realistically, if we have a surge, if we have like another $1,000 come in, we could take over 8th in the overall listing. What does that do for us? Did we catch... No. Damn, the Richmond Young Professionals. I will say, when Noah's Illuminati money comes in, we will catch charity for sa or sailing for charity. Unless those Sea of Thieves heathens uh, get, in, get another surge of funds. Today's the day, Taffy. Oh, good for you, Nate. Congratulations on the unprotected sex. It's so good. Do we have the receipt from the second match? I've got it in the email. I I, I, I threw it into the email and used that as a ping for visibility. 
Yeah, that's uh, Amanda says right here. Hey, the rapid, are you here? I can't remember. Uh, was, was your one hundred dollar contribution? Was it made through Tiltify or was it made through your employer's uh, dono matching portal? Did you get any sleep last night, dude? Trey, so I left the office at twelve thirty. Had to take a dump. Got out of the bathroom at one. Decompressed for a half an hour, and was asleep by two. <laughs> and then up at well, I was up at four. Because Rory peed the bed, moved to a different bed, fell back asleep, and was up at 7.45. So I'm going on like five hours, five hours of broken sleep, which is, you know, it's feasible. It's not great. It's certainly less than ideal, but it is, it's workable. <clears throat> Shit, we're doing hot ones on Sunday, huh? Chat, we could conceivably just keep the subathon live until Hot Ones starts at my house, featuring Lucid, me, Justin, Noah, and possibly McQueeb. If we if we give one one more one more big push. Can I search these? No. Well, maybe. Name. Rapid. Yeah, the, the, here we go. View details. Detail. I think it was this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got all the information and everything. Let me get this to them. Damn, we were a hive of activity, and then we just fell off, uh, fell off a cliff. There, everything got real quiet all of a sudden. Kinger, what's going on? I'm gonna say it's this one. I got to imagine it's this one. So this one did go through Tiltify. Tiltify. Uh, hey all. Well, hey Amanda. Thank you. I'm, you're probably still here, but if you're not, so much for pushing that through. The $100 match did go through Tiltify. I have the dono information attached. Downloads. Oops, I didn't download. Ah! That was your computer chat, not mine. Fix your shit. <clears throat> what the fuck? Oh, that's... Sorry. So now, the rapid know know that you can uh, know that you can rest well. That I have passed along to the leadership team of St. Jude Play Live your personalized message of cancer can suck my sweaty balls. That went straight to the top. Leadership will see that, and they will have to seriously ponder the message that you've lobbed at their feet like a live grenade. I see sleepless nights in their future. <laughs> Good, the people need to know. <laughs> 
Broken sleep is par for the course for me. At least the kids are actively sleeping through the night consistently now. I've got a young one that if I was being a hard ass, I could make him start sleeping in his own bed consistently. But I also realized that when he starts sleeping in his own bed consistently, my days, my days of uh, having a kiddo come cuddle up with me are effectively over, and that will make me very sad. Back to it. Back to it. Rusty, thank you so much, man, for, for all of it. That was a cosmic balancing act for the bullshit you had to go through last night and this morning. <laughs> it's going to be a slide on their next PowerPoint. I just got done moving wood chips all morning so they're extra sweaty. You better open up, Cancer. Really, really flick the tongue, Cancer. Just the worst. What was I doing? I think I was coming back here to get those orange rooms, and I think now I've done that. I can't get through there. It's the orange puddle room. So I think I'm just back here. We've, we've run out that area, so let's go back here and just uh, push down this blue hallway, this light blue hallway. I think I was also looking for healing. I could probably fabricate something at this point, too. If I want to. What are you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I know I'm about to do melee kills. I'm so curious about you. Come on, game. I melee killed those orbs. Oh, my. Um... I need to kill so many things with melee! Uh oh. Cocoon. Repair efficiency. Resin enhancer. Oh, that one's so good. Sounds good, Trey, man. Enjoy the mimosas and bacon. Appreciate you, bud. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I, 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 I do be using heals. I am a, I am a fool for heals. I'm very full. Apparently I'm not sneaking one through there, is what I'm being told. <clears throat> Wait, there has to be more rooms than this. Oh, there we go. Made my way back to the beginning. Is it weird that I feel worse about shooting these eyeballs than I did about ripping apart a stuffed element screaming for its life last night? Hey, the matching $100 dono for the rapid process. Hell yeah, man. Let's put... $100 worth of time on the clock. Now I gotta go back to driving from the side of the road. Nice, Noah. Thank you so much. And thank you, Amanda, again, if you're listening. <clears throat> I appreciate that. That does, uh, that does, in fact, bring us up to $17,136.90. Firmly in third place for the week. 
Good grief, chat. Take a breath, why don't you? Y'all are gonna pull something at this rate. We're not young. You're the best, Amanda! I don't know what you were doing this weekend, but go back to it. You don't need to be here. I'll take it from here. 